Tonight we are hearing from 9-11 survivors brought together for the first time to share their experiences. The group not only battling with memories of that fateful day, but also illnesses that have followed. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis has more now from Greenwich Village. Sitting side by side are very different people. A priest, an actress, a steel welder, strangers who share something significant. They each have an emotional 9-11 story. I think it's very important to keep the story alive. Fred Eichler was on the 83rd floor of the North Tower. He watched a plane fly into the building and was trapped. The debris was falling, fires were breaking out, and at about 9.35, a fireman and a building worker happened to wander onto our floor and rescued us. Father Paul Werricks gets emotional sharing his memories. The faith of God was in the firefighters. Many of those older firefighters knew they were going to die. Among those heroes was FDNY firefighter Michael Lynch. His son was only three years old. Was told to go to this elevator that had free fall and people were burning alive in it, and he opened up the elevator and saved people. His widow holds on to their last phone call that morning. I was just told him to be careful and that I loved him so much. She, like many others, returned to Ground Zero in the days following. I cried and cried and just kept walking and hoping that they would find him. For weeks, actress Christina Huey and steel welder Scott Bartels volunteered at Ground Zero. It was just unbelievable. Both have cancer. Among the patients here now being treated for 9-11 related illnesses through Northwell's World Trade Center Health Program. A recent study has shown that individuals in the World Trade Center Program have 30% less death from cancer and 36% less mortality than would be expected from all causes. If I didn't have them to guide me, I don't know where I would be today. A beacon of light for those who face darkness, hoping for a brighter future for us all. The people here today say it's so important to continue sharing these stories so we truly never forget. In Greenwich Village, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. This life-changing program is federally funded. It is still open and accepting new enrollees. If you would like some more information, just go to our website, cbsnewyork.com. And CBS2 is paying tribute to the heroes and those we lost on 9-11. Join us for Never Forgotten, 9-11, 20 years later, for the untold stories from that fateful day. A special presentation. We'll be there with you tonight at 7 p.m., only on CBS2 and streaming on CBS and New York.